What's happening? Brian Tong here and welcome to the Apple Bite for all the good and bad inside the world of Apple. We've got news plus a special superhero giveaway on this week's show. To the stories and more purported iPad 5 cases have made their way online this time from Tactus.com showcasing the mini inspired design that even includes a clear plastic mock-up of the iPad 5. Engadget also posted their own photos of cases leaking out of Hong Kong. The gray case is the iPad 4, and the blue case is the alleged iPad 5 design, so you can see the subtle difference in size with these picks and a possible thinner design. Now that supports a CNET article with NPD display search analysts that claim the iPad 5 may shed some of its thickness by trimming LEDs and sporting a thinner backlight. The article says they expect Apple to also shift to a film-based touch sensor, which will reduce thickness as well, and the design could be closer to the thinness of the iPad 2. Now the general consensus is still a third quarter target date for its release. Also, Apple's iRadio service is coming sooner rather than later after a report from The Verge claims the Big A has reached the final stages of negotiations and is expected to sign its first internet radio licensing agreement with Universal Music Group. Now, Warner Music is also close behind, according to their sources. You know, I'm just excited that Apple has pretty much locked down Universal so I can listen to great artists like Carly Rae Jepsen. So call me, baby. Now, talks with Sony Music Entertainment still aren't anywhere close to a deal with Apple, so I'm sorry, R. Kelly fans, you have to wait. Apple's initial lowball offer was six cents per 100 songs streamed, or about half of Pandora's rate, but now the report says Apple pay rates are nearly neck and neck with Pandora. All right, guys, let's check out the app of the week. This week, it's not a new app, but it's the new addition to the Facebook app. So if you're not tired of the social network yet, you can check out its new messaging feature called Chat Heads that was announced for Android recently. It's now been added to the iOS Facebook app. You can get them by jumping into your messages or chatting with someone. Their chat head will appear and you can move them around on your screen. That's my favorite part. I also like throwing an annoying person away. Goodbye. Now they also added stickers in for free for a limited time. Basically, it's a bunch of oversized emoticons and it's coming to Android later. So check out the update to the new Facebook app and the revamped iPad version as well. It's actually worth using now. All right guys, in some cool patent news, Apple has filed for a patent for flexible edge displays that will be able to have virtual repurposing controls depending on what the user is doing. Translation, think of it as the sides of your phones could have touch sensitive areas that morph into different uses like virtual buttons, switches, or scrolling displays depending on what you're doing on the device. Now they also showed an example of how virtual buttons could be activated on the edge display for gaming as well. Apple indicates the technology could be used in future iDevices, even MacBooks or wearable computers, like maybe one that could uh, go on your wrist. Now Apple was also granted the patent for creating and managing iOS folders with the jiggle effect. You know, the effect where it looks like your folders are dancing on jello, kind of like, uh, like this? Yeah. Right. Uh, what? Apple won't let you do that anymore. Man, dang it, that's no fun. All right, to the quick bites. Longtime Apple board member Bill Campbell said at a recent town hall meeting that we should expect to see a lot of things going on with the application of technology to really intimate things. Now, he used Google Glass as one example. The rumored iWatch could also be another thing, but kind of makes me uncomfortable to think about what Jabra might be working on. Also, funnierdie.com Steve Jobs movie called I Steve is now available online. It stars Justin Long from the iMac ads and Hurley from Lost, but don't expect anything serious here. It's the longest video produced by the site at 80 minutes. The script was written in three days and took five days to film, but I was only able to watch a couple of minutes and that's including skipping through. And finally, if you guys and gals had $15 million, what would you do with it? Well, if you're Joe, the Hong Kong businessman, you commission someone to craft a solid gold chassis just, you know, maybe add 600 white diamonds on it for decoration and take a 26 karat black diamond that has been in your family for generations and set it on the home button. Honestly, I'm not gonna hate. Congratulations, Joe, that's an amazing phone and you'll still probably get lost using Apple's maps. All right, who cares about that phone? If you didn't know, I love, I love my video games and I'm having a blast playing Injustice, Gods Among Us, where these top superheroes and villains in the DC Comics universe just duke it out. This game is really addictive as cotton candy. 
So, my friends at Warner Brothers and NetherRealm Studios are hooking two of you, the Apple Biters, up with a copy of Injustice Gods Among Us, one for the Xbox and one for the PS3. All you have to do is tell me your favorite DC Comics superhero and what specific power, ability, or feature you like about them and why. And really, come on, the weirder the better. Super Fox will save you! And I'll pick two of you and announce our winners next week. All you have to do is send your submission to the Applebyte at CNET.com or tweet me at Brian Tongan. If you already have the game and want to get your butt kicked by a pro, I'll be happy to do it for you. All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time for another bite of the Apple. Mm -hmm. Not today. Not today. The armor won't help. Just shut up and fight. Not today, Joey. Mm -mm. No way. No!